This is my third artist research, who is jo Rob Whitworth, who is an American-based photographer who specializes in time-lapse photography, which is the movement of the camera between each exposure soon, uh, which creates a stop-motion clip. As you can see in what Rob, Rob Whitworth's video now, he captures movement speeded up to kind of show the hectic movement throughout the city. This links in well with my project as it's about tracking movement within London. So my aim is to look more deeply into certain types of movement within London. For example, looking at class and gender types and certain cultural enclaves within London. So my ideas for photo shoots are like getting up early in the morning and capturing um, commuters on their way to work through transport such as trains as you see now on Rob Whitworth's video and buses and also I'm going to try and attempt them actually moving into their working buildings so overall I want to create a short film that kind of gets the message across highlighting how movement changes through day through to night showing the contrasts and that some of the techniques Rob Ritworth used is very inspirational to the message I want to portray for example on a time lapse he'll zoom in each of each within each 10 shots so it kind of gets his slow movement into the city into the focal point he's trying to portray and also another thing I love about his work is how he goes from a tall perspective wide angle shot of the city of the nature passing by of time passing by then he contrasts right back into being deep into the city such as Chinatown as we see here where there's a various amount of poop people moving and then he cross fades into cars coming through also there it really gets across the kind of idea how movement is so hectic during this time and this is what I want to portray and I'll be talking about how I'm gonna take photo shoots to get the message across. First I'll be doing individual photo shoots such as places like City Hall, Tower Bridge, Westminster, trying to experiment with hyperlapse and seeing how it works and because you have to take at least 74 pictures as the frames per second that will equal out to three second uh, videos so I'll have individual experimentations of time lapse and hyperlapse photography and then my idea is to capture nature such as Rob does in his videos like sun, sunrise and sunset that could maybe be the starting point of my videos and then in the middle I can show what happens during the day it's been my analysis of Rob Whitworth's video uh, thanks for listening